How to take a Google slide presentation and turn it into a PowerPoint presentation so that you can write directly on the notes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to file, I'm going to click file, and I'm going to go to download Microsoft PowerPoint. Now if you don't have an external tablet, like a writing tablet, that you can attach to your computer, that's fine. PowerPoint has a draw feature. And with this draw feature, you can change the color. So I do like red, but my favorite colors are pink and purple. So I'm going to change the colors of my writing utensil. So now that I'm in the draw feature of my PowerPoint, I'm going to start looking at the notes. So right here, you would use Desmos to, to get your answer. We're just going to throw an answer out. It's not necessarily the correct answer, but I'm just this is just to show you. So I can use my mouse to draw directly on here. And okay, so let's just say I have to underline this as a word problem. I want to underline something that's so it stands out to me. Just underline it. If you make a mistake, there's an eraser feature and just erase what the mistake you made. This is a super awesome feature for you when you are in Google Classroom and we give you a Google Slide to work on. Um, and it's difficult for you to type in what you want and you know if I'm if I have to write something like this um, and I need to actually do some kind of calculations it's easier for me to do it this way and then I can cross out whereas on Google Classroom on Google Slides I can't really cross it out um, but here I can actually cross it out and use my mouse feature now in order to submit this so that we can see that you have um, completed your notes you'll go up to home you would go to file so if this is if you're using a Mac um, if you're using like like I said the Google Chromebook you can still go to home and go to export now I can export this differently than you can um, I would obviously export it as a download I would click export and then it would export it and then when it saves it to my desktop, I would go to my assignment where I'm turning my Google Slides in and I would attach this file.